We have been traveling the rich fertile lands of Kenya, far and wide, across the highlands and lowlands of this beautiful country, talking to farmers wherever we go. We want to give them the help and knowledge they need to improve their farming methods, increase their income, and turn around their farms into good business for the future. Join us and our experts on this journey and share their families' experiences as they make the changes. Karibu to Shamba Ship Up Safari. Welcome to Shamba Shepherd. Today we are in Kabatini, Nakuru North. Now me, now me open up. Who is it? It's me, Tony. How do I know it is you? Look at the nose, look at the nose. That's me, right? Oh, that's you. Good. And who else would know that today in Shamba Shepherd we are going to deal with a cow in calf, a leaking water tank, and hot chilies. Yeah? Now, if we have so much to do, why are you late? Oh, Come on, just, get in. We right, need to ship right. up. Uh, let's go meet the farmers. This farm has lots of maize, some vegetables, one cow, and four sheep. Oops, <laughs> just let them out by mistake. <laughs> Living here is Lydia and her three children. We know it needs a ship up. So the team set up our base camp tent. So Lydia, tell me, how long have you lived on this farm? I have lived here since you know, two. Do you live alone or with your husband? I used to live with my husband later he passed away. Oh. And I'm um, left behind with three kids. Ah. Now tell me, since you're a farmer now, what problems are you going through? on a daily basis? The crops here are not doing well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, beans are not doing well. Uh -huh. And there is no crop that I can harvest. Mm -hmm. My chilies are mm. very good yeah. and it looks nice, uh -huh. but there is no market for it. And what else? In my farm, I have a cow. You have a cow? I used to have two, but one died oh. after getting ill. Now um, I'm left with, with one and it's not doing well. What's the main problem with it? It has man, mastitis twice. Ah, mastitis. It's not giving me, me enough milk. Yes. Uh, it's a long list to shape up. The chilies, the beans and Lydia's cow. To get us kicked off, I have asked expert Jen Jerry to look at Lydia's chilies. Now, Jane, I can see Lydia's chilies are very, very good, looking very healthy. But Lydia, you have a problem. What is it? Mm -hmm. From here on to the market, it's 200 bob. And when uh, I get there, they said that they are buying at a raw price at a 20 per kilo. Uh. And I have already used 200 shillings. So you're spending a lot of money taking your chilies, which you have a lot, yeah. to the market, but when you get there, sure. they're offering very low prices. And what should she do, Jane? Uh, most farmers have the same problem like Lydia's. They don't plan where they are going to sell their produce, where they, how they are going to market it. So it's lack of planning. Uh -huh. So before you produce, you have to know where is your market? How are you going to market it? The solution, Lydia, mm -hmm. you can dry your chilies, mm -hmm. plus your other vegetables, mm -hmm. like skumawiki, mm -hmm. cabbages, mm -hmm. terere, yes. all those types of vegetables. Yes. You can dry them mm -hmm. using solar energy. Before investing in a crop, you should always research the market for the crop, or you may end up with a good crop, but not a good price when it comes to sale. This means you may spend more getting the crop than you get when you sell it. There is a solution. Now, what is this? <laughs> this is a solar dryer. This is what I told you about. Uh -huh. Lydia, I told you about uh, uh, drying your chilies with the solar. Yeah. This is what we had prepared. This is a tray for drying. Yes. And we have a chamber there that heats, that's heated by the solar energy mm -hmm. and the heat gets in here in this chamber mm -hmm. and then 
dries the chilies. Mm -hmm. So within three days, mm -hmm. these chilies will be dry enough to be preserved for a long time. Okay. Yes, and then you can sell them at your own time. Mm -hmm. When the prices are very good. Ah, that is good. So that you can make a profit mm -hmm. out of your yeah. chilies. Jen, is, is there a market for dry pepper? Yes, there is. When you go to a hotel, mm -hmm. whatever you see there is yeah. made of dried chilies. Ah, so it's quite easy to it, use? Yeah, it's, it's easy to use. And what else does it dry? You can dry sukuma wiki, mm -hmm. you can dry spinach, mm -hmm. you can even dry your meat. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. and what have you got there for us? In here, I've gotten the end product of dry vegetables. So which can you see this? it? Which yeah. This these are skuma wikis. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. So when you want to use them, uh -huh. you just soak them in water for 30 minutes. Okay. And then they will be as as fresh uh -huh. as you just pick them from the shamba. Lydia, what do you think of that? Ah, this is very good. If you only have one cow and that cow is expecting a calf, really, you should take very good care of it. It looks like John from Cooper's has found lots of room for improvement with Lydia's cow management. Lydia is very anxious to know what is wrong with her Karish. Karish yes. is the name of her cow. Now, your animal or your cow Karish mm -hmm. has been well fed. That was my first note. Oh, okay, that's good. The stomach is full. So wow. she's, she's, she has done a very good work in the morning. Mm -hmm. yeah? okay. But when I was going aloud, eh, mm -hmm. I looked upon her backside of it. Mm -hmm. she, her skin is spilling out. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, she is spilling out because of the mud that has been stuck on its body. Mm -hmm. The moment right. that mud has dried, comes back, and it's mm -hmm. coming out, it's coming out with part of the hair and part of the skin. Mm -hmm. Oh. So it's not, it's not an infection. Mm -hmm. Oh, at least. It's all about management. Mm -hmm. So as even as I was going aloud, mm -hmm. I looked upon its feces, mm -hmm. and it has so watery. Really? Than normal. So what is the problem? The problem is amount or is what she is feeding it on. Uh -huh. That's about the nutrition. Right. If you can go back to the management, mm -hmm. even as I was looking upon also its teeth, mm -hmm. one of its teeth was hard, mm -hmm. as if it had mastitis. Has it been treated on mastitis? Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. But it has not yet healed. Mm -hmm. Mastitis is all about, brought about by the hygiene of the farmer and the milker mm -hmm. to the animal and also the animal and where the animal is. Right. So, I've noted some of the issues we should, as Chapa Shepherd, come and chip the mm -hmm. carriage place. Mm -hmm. One mm -hmm. is on the floor. Right. So muddy, mm -hmm. the dung is there, right. and as I can see, the drainage is heading towards the house. Uh -huh. So, we need to put the drainage towards where it's supposed to go to the Chapa to help in the organic manure. Mm -hmm. Then, we're so dirty, oh. which consists because of where it is sleeping mm -hmm. and where it lasts. Oh. Even I've looked upon the calf pen. Yes. The walls, mm -hmm. if we put a one day old calf there, Dead. it will definitely die because oh. of pneumonia, cold, and all that. Secondary, the floor where the calf might sleep mm -hmm. is so hard. You can imagine a, a one old calf sleeping in that wet. Right. And oh, terrible. So we need to put up a very good floor. Mm -hmm. The trough. A trough? Oh, my. Oh. Full of soil. Oh dear Lydia. John suggests we need to build a new trough as well as improvements to the floor, drainage and milking parlor. All this will improve the hygiene and health of Karish the cow and help improve milk production. The walls were just terrible. Yes. So need you can see wires. Yes. You can see these ones can harm the animal. Right, so right. we need to do a lot of refurbishment on the walls of this shed mm -hmm. and put it in the best way possible. So, it's time once again for Shamba Shepherd team member Karis to get his tools out. The cow shed needs good drainage, so the pen is easy to keep clean. This will help the cow keep healthy, especially its skin. Plus, the milking pen needs to be improved. While the work starts on the improvements to the cow shed, I take a few minutes to chat with William, who is 15, Mary Ann, age 9, and six years old Onesmus. Now, let me ask you, just between me and you, are you happy that Shama Shepap is here? Yes, very much. Very happy. Yes. Onesmus, are you happy? Yes. Mm -hmm. And is your mom happy? Don't tell her. Is she happy? Yes. Mm -hmm. She's really happy. She's really happy. Yes. How is school? 
school is very good because mm -hmm. we are trying just so that in future we can help ourselves yes. and others. Best subject? Agriculture and biology. Agriculture. So we are the right place. Yes. So very soon you'll be teaching us how to plant some things. Mm. Next, Lydia tells Jane about the problems she has had with her beans. I have several problems in my shaba because when I plant my beans here, um, they are not doing well. Uh, when they come up, their leaves started to dry like this, as you can see. And the beans, when they uh, come out, they look like this. Lydia, you seem to have several problems like most farmers. And um, we have diseases on these beans, fungal diseases like rust, there is anthracnos, and you have some insects that are eating your beans. Mm -hmm. But most of these diseases can be controlled by using certified seed. Did you use some certified seed? Certified seed? Yes. No, 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 no. I used to go to my store and collect some, some few and take them to my shaba. I recommend next time you use certified seeds. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when you use certified seeds, mm -hmm. you have less diseases, mm -hmm. and then they are early maturing, mm -hmm. the, your yields will increase. Oh, that is good. Yes. You know lack of knowledge is very dangerous. Ah. Oof. ah, I tried biting one of these. Not a good idea. Hmm. Are you getting along? <laughs> Not bad. Well, John had a look at the cow and recommended a better cow shed. Ooh, Lydia has learned how to sell her products on the market. Mm -hmm. And now she's drying some of these chilies in the hot sun. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but there's still more to learn. Right here on Shamba Shep Up. <laughs> Welcome back to Shamba Shepa. We're still here at Kabatini, very near Nakuru town, shaping up Lydia's Shamba. Improvements are being made to the cow shed for better hygiene and to be ready for the calf. Lydia told agricultural expert Jane that her beans always do badly. Jane says she should only use certified seeds that is disease resistant and fast maturing. Shamba Shepap took Lydia and other local farmers on a trip to Leldet Seed Farm. Leldet produces certified seeds that have been developed to be fast maturing and drought resistant. They focus on crops for areas where rainfall is not always reliable. Crops such as chickpeas and cowpeas, sorghum and beans. New varieties have been researched and tried and have been good at providing crop even when rainfall is lower than usual. Leldet Limited was established back in 2004 and the main reason for establishment of Leldet Limited was to provide quality seeds to farmers at affordable prices. Here at the farm, Leldet grow the seeds. The seeds are then dried. The seeds are treated. And they are also packed here. So another thing also, when we are a little bit limited, we are processing our seeds. We ensure all the quality standards are there too. And our seeds are inspected and approved by KEFIS. So we ensure standards are met. And also we ensure all the customers are satisfied. Lydia is back to her shamba with her certified bean seeds. I see you got certified beans. KKH. Yes. Now I see most of your problems are solved. Yes. And especially the seed borne diseases. Yes. With this, you can get more yields. Yes. So you won't have a lot of problems like anthracnose, rust, and uh, some of the problems that, uh, like insects, that is the bean fry, when the beans are shooting from the ground. Yes. So I believe with this, you can get very good yields of beans. Mm. What do you think about that? I'm happy to have this because my problem is so far. And I'll get enough 
beans for my family and to make money. Jane explains how to plant the beans. Prepare the soil by making sure there are no weeds and adding farmyard manure. Then the holes must be 15 centimeters apart. Add 10 grams or one bottle cup of DAP fertilizer and mix with the soil. Then add two bean seeds in each hole and cover with the soil. Each row should be 45 centimeters or one and a half feet apart. Certified new variety seeds will give you a healthy crop. Caris has done a great job on improving the cow shed, which will not only improve the health of Lydia's cow carish, but will also improve milk production. John from Coppers has a few more top tips. We are going to show Lydia on how to do the best way of milking. Right. Because one thing you come to realize is that when you don't milk your animals the right way, mm -hmm. that's where you get high cases of mastitis. Right. And you know, the under and the mm -hmm. teeth, that's where the factory is. Okay. One thing is that you are supposed to wash the under and the teeth with warm water, at least not less than two liters or three liters of water. Aha. You see? Right. And you disinfect the water using mastrite. Right. Mastrite is a disinfectant you use, you use, you use for under wash. Mm -hmm. You wash thoroughly such, such that the, one, the under can be so clean and the teeth are clean and well. Then use the light milking salve. Right. The new milking salve from, from Coopers that has dichlorophene and lanolin. Mm -hmm. right. Dichlorophene is antibiotic. Okay. Lanolin is to make the teeth to be smooth. Right. And also to make Lydia's hands to be smooth. good, smooth, and also to not to hurt the, the teeth from, of the animal. Lydia washes the teeth using warm water and the mastitis disinfectant. Then she milks using the milking salve. That way, thank you. Finally, Lydia used a teeth dip using mastitis disinfectant. This will protect the teeth from infection. What can I do for my cow to produce more milk? Because mm. you know now, Kalish is like a, a bank. Mm. What you deposit what is what you withdraw. Yes. You see? Mm. So the amount of feed you give to Kalish mm -hmm. and the quality of the feed mm. you feed to Kalish mm -hmm. determines the amount of milk you get. Okay. So when you go to the nutrition, mm -hmm. I was looking aloud on what you really feed on Kalish. Yeah. The Napier glass. Okay. This size. Mm -hmm. Too bad. Yeah, really. Because Kalishi is going to use a lot of energy to digest all this from here to here. Mm -hmm. And by the time it's go to the body, mm -hmm. you will not be profiting to the animal. Mm -hmm. So you need to help it digest. Mm -hmm. And you help it by shopping in small, small pieces. Okay. We usually talk of allowed two inches mm -hmm. or less than five centimeters. Mm -hmm. Kalish requires mineral supplement for body maintenance mm -hmm. and also to produce milk for you mm -hmm. and also to give you a heifer or a calf the other time. Mm -hmm. So it's always good to use the right mineral supplement and that is Maclick Super because mm -hmm. Kalichi is producing milk. Maclick Super is a mineral that enables the animal to have good body maintenance and will assist the animal to produce good quality milk. Mm -hmm. But another thing, you know, just like us, mm -hmm. an animal requires a balanced diet. Right. Mm -hmm. An balanced diet, what I mean by a balanced diet is that we give minerals, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. We give fiber or carbohydrate, the energy giving food, yeah, yeah. but also can it requires protein. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah. now, because milk is rich in protein, mm -hmm. we have come with a product called Kupakula Gorod. Kupakula is a protein supplement that will enhance digestion and help produce more milk. So every year, Kari should give you a calf mm -hmm. and should give you milk with good management and not nutrition. Are these minerals found in our shop here? Yeah. Lula Ilia? Yeah. Uh -huh. Our Cooper products are found in the agrovet at your disposal. Okay. Now that Karish the cow has been shipped up, Lydia needs to protect her investment. That's how it's supposed to be. Ah, Steve. Good, good mm. that you're here. Mm. Now, Lydia has done what John from Cooper's advised. She has made the cattle shed look almost new. Lots of renovation, good work done. Now, what should she do next? I'll request her or I'll encourage her to have the cow insured. Lydia, did you know those cow insurance? No. <laughs> now, Steve, how does a farmer go about insuring their cows? Uh, it's very simple. What do we normally do or how the, what the farmer should do is just conduct a veterinary officer that is certified. He'll value the cow. Uh, the insurance that we work with will give her at 3.5% of the amount of that cow for, for the year. Mm -hmm. That's the evaluation price. Mm -hmm. So what should Lydia insure the cow from? Lydia should insure the cow from the diseases. She should also insure it from death. So that in case the cow dies or gets sick, sick and doesn't produce enough milk, you'll be able to be compensated by the insurance company. And how about theft? Even theft, it's catered for. Aha. Uh -huh. I know there's th those risks. And when the cow is stolen, you will be compensated. A cow worth the same amount. Wow. Lydia, how does that sound? It's good. I'm very happy. Elsewhere, Lydia's elder son, William, and the Shamba Shape Up team have been working hard. This used to be the sheep house, but Chamba Shepherd converted it into William's house, and we still got another surprise for him. William! Yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. What are you doing in there? I'm studying. In your new house? Yes. <laughs> so how do you study at night? I study by using the kerosene lamp mm -hmm. up to four to three hours. The kerosene? Yes. D does it affect you? Yes, especially How? with my eyes. Uh -huh. Sometimes they start crying. Yes. And that fumes of the of the kerosene lamp uh -huh. usually affect my breathing system in the chest. Wow, and we don't want that now, do we? No. Because we want you to work very hard and study very hard mm -hmm. and become an expert on Shamba Shape Up. All right? Yes. Good. So we've got something for you here. Yes. It's called a D-light lamp. Mm -hmm. It uses solar power, yeah. so no more kerosene. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so with this one, this lamp here, it's yes. so so easy to use. Hold yes. here. You just switch it on here. That's it. Right? Oh wow! Now you're yeah. able to study there. Yeah. Now you can study. No, and... no problems. Good. Now take it. Yes. Go inside your house. Yes. And wait for night time. Yes. To continue studying. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. How's your new house? Very cute and beautiful. Cute and beautiful? Yes. Oh, he's excited. Yeah, he's excited. As solar power is free, you save money. The daylight is also safe to use and improve study. It's been great being in your farm. You're a great farmer, and I hope you've learned a lot from us, especially where the, the experts are concerned. I have learned that it's good to keep my cow in a clean, 
my cow can be safe from disease. Wow, and you also learned so much about how to ensure that particular cow. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so now Karish is going to have more milk. Yeah. So, so Lydia, things can only get better. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. William, yes. how did you like the shepherd? I can be able to go there, uh -huh. I put the rights on and I can be able to study well. Uh -huh. And because you have made my brother's house, now, she, now he can go and live there. How are you? Did you like the shape up? Yes. <laughs> and it's one big happy family courtesy of Shamba Shape Up! Shamba Shape Up is online. To learn more about today's topics or to watch any of our previous episodes, visit shambashapeup.com. Select the episode and click play. You could also visit our Facebook page, Shamba Shape Up, to get more information, get involved in discussions, and also get a chance to enter some of our great competition to win great prizes. You can also find us on Twitter at Shamba Shape Up or simply text 5606. Thank you.